Hello people and today I'm going to be downgrading my iPhone 2G right here um, to iOS 1.0 I'll just probably mute this stupid thing because it's going to make all of those horrible connect and disconnect noises as you can see I've got lame dos and the lame dos inside of the lame dos in the lame VM software which might be the wrong piece of software because um, apparently I need XP I think but the only problem is my XP install is 64 bits so I'm going to have to like completely reinstall get another XP install and I'm just not in the mood so yeah of course in order to downgrade you need the IPSW which I shall get See you in a sec. Believe it or not, the actual 1.0 IS, IPSW, not ISO, is apparently available on um, the Apple service still, which is a bit weird because the... Well, actually, I think it's 2 and 3 that is available for the iPod Touch, I say. It, it's either that or 1.0. I know there's like one that's not available for the iPod Touch. Now... Blah, 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 I don't care. Let's get this all sorted. Okay. Nothing's showing up. Which is a bit sus. So let me check whether I've got... It. It's not saying anything about the iPhone, which is problematic. Also, Kingston USB flash drive, excuse me, Philips. I guess they use Kingston, maybe Kingston designed by Philips, I don't know. But yeah, I'll try and sort this out, see, try like a different cable or something. So it is Apple iPhone, and I will connect it, and I know now about amazing, right? Hang on. Okay, so I've tried to... Um, connect it to the virtual machine it just kept on giving me unknown errors so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna remove iDroid um apparently um uh, iDroid's not installed apparently not sure how exactly what works but I'm gonna remove open iBoot and put in recovery slash DFU mode whatever it's called and see if that helps. See you in a sec. Okay, I've come up with a genius idea of um, <laughs> using my pa Power Mac G5. Could be even I have my PowerBook G4. Or even my eMac. But no, I'm going with this just because, you know, the fastest because it's the most powerful. And blah, 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 blah. You get the point. So I've got to scroll all the way down. Why is, why is the screen the pictures blue? I don't know. But I'm here to install. Go all the way back to the start. And go for this. Download it. Yes, of course I do. And I also looks like I'm going to need to downgrade my iTunes. Not a big deal. See you in a bit. Amazing. Amazing. Shout out to you, iTunes. Give me all your boosts and likes, Freddy first. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, for those that aren't aware, the latest version of iTunes that this computer can run outright is iTunes 10.6.3, not 12.8.1. And 12.8.1 um, is even the latest version of iTunes in general. I believe we're on like 12. 10, 12.12 I would say exists, but either way it's definitely not 12.8.1, that's the latest version, so yeah, amazing. I don't care about my iTunes store request, oops I actually clicked the iTunes store request, um, yeah, so the goal is um, to get the iPhone to appear, so I'm going to try and attempt number god knows what to put it in DFU mode. I'm not even sure if it's actually plugged in at all. But yeah, 
see you in a sec. And it's gave me ever 20, whatever that means. Who knows what that means. Genius idea, how about I just use Legacy iOS Kit. Okay. And here we go. Um, okay, see you in a sec. Turns out I'm a bit of an idiot because it's a 16 gig of NTG. Well, supposedly I, this is according to one website I looked at, so maybe this isn't true. But it's a 16 gig model, and apparently 16 gig models can only be downgraded to 1.1.14, which is a bit disappointing. No offence. But I guess time to attempt it. I've, I've tried to do it here again, but you know, with 1.1.4. And uh, yeah, it's still giving me over 20, whatever that means. Hello people, it's me. I'm going to end it off here now. I have tried um, using Legacy iOS kit once again, but with my 1.14 IPSW. And um, it was saying, oh yeah, Checkmate's not um, as reliable in Linux, which yeah, that's correct. It's basically unusable. Uh, well, and no, I pawned her and um, the other one, there's like one with V2. I think it's just I pawned her V2 and then I can't remember the other one. Um, yeah, they really don't work on Linux. They only really work on Mac OS. So what I'm doing right now is causing a massive inconvenience to anyone who wants to join my Blockhead server. And I am installing Mac OS. Um, hi Sierra um, on my um, Mac basically but that might not be actually what I can do I, 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 if I can get working on El Capitan which I don't know um, then I'll actually be able to not cause an inconvenience to my Blockheads players so yeah just saying so I'm going to leave it here. This was supposed to be one video because I thought it would go all well. Unlike the other videos that I've been doing recently. But clearly that's not been the case. So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this and goodbye.